Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. What I'm going to do today is a little budget guitar shootout. Now these are not bottom dollar guitars. These would have both been around 300 uh, to 400 when they came out. Uh, but I think it's a great place uh, to start. This is a Fender Squire Standard Series Stratocaster. And this is uh, a bit of a special edition with the painted headstock and the mirrored pick guard. Uh, I'm gonna just try and do a quick visual comparison and then we'll do some sound samples. Uh, I wanna keep these videos short, so I'm gonna kind of rush through this one. Uh, but we'll start with the headstock. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's got the fender shape and the logo looks nice. And I kind of like the way this Stratocaster is uh, written out, sort of giving homage to the uh, the old JV Squires of yesteryear. Let's segue to the jet. Okay, so there's the jet, and this is a JS300 uh, being raved about across the internet as one of the best budget guitars right now. So as you can see, the headstock does not match the fender shape, and it's kind of ugly. So we're giving points to the Squire there. Now let's quickly take a look at the back. It has no-name sealed tuners uh, that do the job and pretty cool buttons. Okay, let's segue to the Squire. There's the Squire. Almost looks identical. No name, sealed tuners, different buttons. I prefer the buttons on the Jet, but that's just my personal preference. While we're here, let's take a look at the back of the neck. And this has a really nice uh, deep C shape, and it's sort of somewhere between satin and glossy. It's not like glass shiny, uh, but it feels like a finished neck. I really like it. Let's segue to the jet. Okay, here's the jet. And it's a nice deep C shape as well. Feels great, uh, but it's a satin neck. And uh, I'm not sure I love the, the feel of the, uh, or the texture, although it feels like good quality. Uh, it's not really to my taste. Uh, you may love it. Okay, so while we're here, let's take a look at the uh, fret ends. Now these feel fantastic. Feels like an expensive guitar and it has rolled edges on the fingerboard, which is a great feature. Just feels super comfortable to play. Okay, let's segue to the Squire. Okay, here's the Squire, and the fret ends feel a little bit sharp here and there. Uh, it's not a cheese grater, uh, but it's not comfortable. Uh, sort of gives away the feel of a less expensive guitar. So that's a definite point uh, towards the jet. Now the fingerboard, this is a nice dark rosewood on the Squire and the inlays look great. Let's segue to the jet. Okay, there's the jet and the inlays look good and the fingerboard material. Obviously this is maple and it looks okay. Kind of generic looking neck. Now this is a roasted maple neck, which is kind of a bonus feature. Makes it dark, but it also structurally uh, makes the grains in the wood stronger uh, and somehow you do pick up on that when you play this guitar it feels really really uh, strong <clears throat> okay we'll take a quick look at the hardware and plastics uh, the bridge on the jet looks about medium quality doesn't look like garbage uh, but it does not look expensive and it has a uh, friction fit whammy which is a bonus feels great Let's segue to the Squire. Okay, so there's the Squire. And actually the quality of the bridge looks better. Now, previous owner has swapped out some of the saddles here. But if we ignore that, it just looks a little better. It has the two-point uh, tremolo system. And the quality just looks a little better. Uh, now this would be a screw-in um, whammy bar. So where we, while we're here, let's take a look. The pickups uh, look like pretty good quality, actually. I'm not sure how they sound yet, we'll check that out. Uh, but they have staggered pole pickups, which I was not expecting. And uh, yeah, they look pretty much the same as any pickup I would see in a uh, USA Strat. Now that's visually, let's hear how they sound, of course. Uh, the switch, while we're here, actually feels pretty good. That feels better than a classic vibe switch. It does not feel as good as a USA switch. Let's segue to the jet. Okay, so here we're checking out the switch. Feels, uh, 
I guess I'd give points to the uh, Squire. This feels not quite as good as the Squire Switch. And the pickups, visually, <clears throat> they do not look as impressive. They are staggered pull a little bit, uh, but they don't look like an American staggered pull pickup. So if I was just looking at this in a store, I would think these look a little cheaper. Now the plastic knobs on the jet look really cheap. Uh, I think this is one section where the uh, Squire is going to win for sure. But let's take a look. Sigley! And there's the Squire. Now this being a special edition, it has these nice uh, metal knobs. Definitely way better quality. Whether you like that look or not, I I'm not particularly into this uh, black and chrome look. But it is what it is. Certainly better quality. So there's another point for the Squire. Now the body shape, they're about the same. They both have the strat body shape. This one does not have an extra contour cut here. Let's segue to the jet. Okay, here's the jet and you can see it has its own unique uh, comfort contour there, which uh, took a bit of brass to do that. I would say it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it helps anything, uh, but it's interesting. Okay, so I guess we're done a visual inspection. Uh, I don't think we had a clear winner there other than the feeling of the neck on the jet. Uh, it's just much smoother with those rolled edges and the uh, fretwork is much more comfortable. Uh, other than that, visually and uh, feel-wise, I think they're very similar. Uh, the Squire has the cooler uh, Fender looking headstock, uh, you know, so it just depends what you're into. But let's see how they play and how they sound, okay? Thanks for watching, cheers. Thank you.